What's going on guys? Aaron here with AV Astronomy. Today, this video is gonna be a little different. I just wanted to be kind of real with you guys about some things that have been going on uh, in the, my world of astrophotography and just how things have changed and evolved over the past couple years since I started. Uh, I started this journey uh, November 2019 and man, what a ride it's been. It's been awesome. But at the same time, it has been just chock full of frustration along the way. I can say, you know, starting out early on when it was just a simple setup with a DSLR, um, those were probably some of the most rewarding experiences I had doing this hobby. And, uh, you know, stuff on the go, like at the beach, Milky Way shots and a Mortal 2 sky over at St. George Island, Florida. Just just awesome experiences there. But you know, in this hobby, you want to continue to grow and improve. And like most things I undertake, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. At least I, that's what I strive for. And you know, my thoughts, my mindset on it was, you know, I just, I need to get the better camera. I need to get the better scope. I need to get the better mount. And while those things are good, and I think in the right situation can benefit you, it's it's not the end all be all of coming, of having quality results. When I started this journey, I had just a tripod and a DSLR. Didn't even have a tracking mount. And I was so excited just to even have a shot like this of Orion. It was just, it just blew my mind. And I was hooked from there. My next move was, I, know, I knew then I needed to have a decent mount and telescope. And so what I do, I went to OPT, or High Point Scientific, I can't remember. And I got an EQ6R Pro mount and a GT73, GT71 William Optics Refractor with a guide scope. Still was imaging with my DSLR, but to this day, some of those images, at least in my opinion, are some of the best images I took. And, you know, wanting to hone in on my craft and improve, I bought more gear. Um, usually, you know, if you're an average Joe like me, budget-wise, you know, you do what you can. So, um, I got a, reflector scope. I wanted to be that guy that wasn't afraid to use a Newtonian <laughs> telescope. If you're watching TikToks of astrophotographers and other YouTubers that do astrophotography, you'll find the vast majority of them do not use reflector style telescopes. Uh, some do, but most use refractors. I wanted to be that guy that would prove that, hey, Newtonians are one of the most underappreciated style telescopes out there which they are i still believe that uh, but they come with their own set of of headaches and frustration so long story short when you combine that with collimation and just the repetitive nature of having to do it especially if you're you have a setup like me where you got to break down and set up every night and the, the spot where you can actually align with Polaris is a, a good distance from your house, it's, it, it becomes a chore. Uh, at least that's what happened to me. So what I do, I tried to buy more gear, more expensive gear, even better gear. So I sold my Maxitop Newtonian, I sold my William Optics Refractor, and I bought a Ryan Optics UK Newtonian, which was an awesome scope, by the way, in regards to optics and design it, it performed pretty well, at least as well as I could get it. But that came with its own frustrations. Um, it was the heaviest scope I had owned, which made lugging the, the beast of that scope and the mount that much more of a chore. And I would find myself on clear nights just saying, no, I'll do it next time, because it was just too much of a headache to mess with. And when you top that all off with getting everything set up, all the measurements are right as far as back focus, at least you think they are. And you're still coming out with soft images. It's just, oh man, it's beyond frustrating. I can't tell you how many times I've, I've almost quit this hobby along the way in these past couple of years. And I'm sure if any of you have been doing this for any amount of time, you know what I'm talking about. 
you're going to come across some, some, it's not just this smooth sailing journey. And, and I understand that, but I think some, for some of us, depending on budget, depending on what we're going to put up with and, you know, what we have available, resources we have available to us, we, we need to be more cautious, I think, in, in what purchases we're making when we're looking at advancing our, our scope setup. If you've got the time, energy, effort, and money, go all out. Um, if you're limited in any of those areas or feel limited in any of those areas, then, you know, maybe stick with the, the more basic setup. So basically guys, I've, I've sold everything. I've sold my mount, I've sold my scopes. Um, and I did that in an effort to start fresh. I want to get back to just enjoying doing astrophotography, um, just having a simple setup that performs well, but it's easy to set up and break down and will still give me good results. So I know some of you saw the picture I posted recently on Twitter of some iOptron boxes. So yes, there has been some gear purchased with everything that I've sold, uh, but I'm completely changing my setup. Um, I want to get it as wireless as possible, going with like an ASI Air Plus Wi-Fi wi wi module to control everything. And so there's, I know there's going to be a learning curve. It's almost going to be like starting it all over in, in some regards. So excited about that. And most importantly, um, I'm excited about getting this back to where it's fun again. You know, this, this started out being a hobby that I wanted to share with others to help others uh, learn how to do it. You know, I'm, I'm not claiming to be the expert here on, on any of this, but um, that was my goal and continues to, to be so and will continue to be my, my ultimate goal with these videos. You probably won't see videos weekly or even bi-weekly, but when I can and when I've put together a good routine with this new setup rest assured there's going to be a tutorial on how to do it to help you guys with a similar setup so given that i'm still waiting on a couple things to come in it's probably going to be a little while before i actually get to do any astrophotography um at least with the new gear setup i have i still have my dslr i still have my star adventurer so you know on um, clear nights when i can make it happen I'll I'll do some stuff with that but it, the new setup is is a work in progress so it may you know it's gonna be I'm not sure how long but it's gonna be a little while before I have that up and running for all of you guys to see also want to thank all of y'all who have followed me along this journey and for your support I uh, just hit 6,000 subscribers earlier this week thank you and uh, really appreciate it my goal here going forward is to go back to a basic setup, a simple setup. It's easy to use, will yield solid results. I know it won't be without its own hiccups. When you're using this kind of gear, you're bound to have some. But uh, my hope is to get back to a place where it's just fun again. So this is Aaron with AV Astronomy. If this is your first time watching, Go back and watch some of the other videos. I got a lot of good stuff. If you're just getting into this hobby and you're wanting to learn how to do it, and if you do like some of the images I produced and you've seen them on Astro Bin, and you wanna you wanna know how to take images like that, then check out my videos. I think they'll help you get started on the right foot. So guys, uh, once again, thank you. Appreciate all of you, and God bless. Keep on looking up, keep on seeking, and until next time, those guys.